Ron Paul sweatshirt on. So I'm wondering, where do you stand? What, what side are you on? How do you feel about Trump? Well, uh, I like the idea that he's shaking up the establishment of Republicans. You know, they've been spending too much, and they've taken us into too many wars, and the Democrats do the same thing. So uh, I have mixed feelings about it. I'd probably rather have him than Hillary. That's what it comes down to. So I think he's got the momentum now. I don't think anybody can stop him. Yeah, let's go. that are meant to keep our people down. The whole system is fucking corrupt. I'm um, actually, I'm very excited to be here. Uh, why are you here? Uh, I think anyone who's decent and has a, a set of humanity should raise their voice when they, when they see a clear and present picture for America. And we're facing that moment as we stand here. So you see a clear and present danger in Trump. What about the other candidates? For example, Bernie Sanders, Hillary Clinton, any of these people that have been around. To be honest, that issue is just good. Bernie Sanders and Hillary does not uh, interest me as much as the same phenomena. Because, because this to me is a crisis of, 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 of where we're at in this country. And, and if we do not take actions right now, we could lose democracy in America. It's, it's bad, it's that profound, and it's that right So what exactly do you see the crisis? What, what is the nature of the crisis? Uh, what, what issue is America that is morally corrupt. Uh, it's morally corrupt because we have a flint one now who has come low middle class people to believe that this one percenter is the savior of working class America. There's, there's no logic in there. And the only thing you can do with that, dumb and buy it, is you have to be very demoralized. And, and America is demoralized. So what do you think about Everybody on all sides appearing to hate him. The banks seem to hate him. The, the companies all seem to hate him. The neocons hate him. The warmongers hate him. The Republicans hate him. The Democrats hate him. Doesn't so that imply something? That there is something anti-establishment? No. Why not? Because Trump would not be here right now if he did not monopolize the airwaves of America. From day, from day one when he announced his candidacy, he should be shut down. Because he started it with a hate speech against Mexicans. And that is racist.